access point. So, oh, and this one also once had official effort now crumbling. <laughs> oh boy. This almost looks like someone tried to create a little fish trap or something. Watershed people know about that boiler. It's probably worth a bit of scrap money. Old copper brass thing. Mm, it's the duck staple, duckweed. They're adjacent to it, it looks like. Watercrest of sorts. <sighs> so I guess we have kind of upscale winos here instead of cheese turtles. It's McCann's Irish oatmeal. Jeez. semi-neglected river path thingy. I sense the pending presence of the bridge. When I was last here, I basically ran into a minor quandary up ahead and blundered around in a Watertown Riverside parcel it's mostly commercial stuff like a garden center but if I had been more alert I would have noticed that the thing switches over to the Newton side at that point 
And so that's what we're about to discover. And yeah, it looks like we have our meeting with the street. Yep, I think I see where it goes. So you just follow the sidewalk here a little ways. <coughs> In this little funny surviving middle class neighborhood of post-war houses, World War II that is, out on the fringe of the river. Mm, I see a packet, not that I have any use for one. So this is where it resumes. That's Bridge Street. And here we have the return to a trailhead. And it's really starting to get excitable. Saturday is getting on its feet. Well, there should be a footbridge up ahead. And this side is a bit quieter. Looks like more terracing. Here's another pathway to the water. There's even a surviving old rustic cozy bench, it looks like. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. 
majestic. But it's a kid hanging out at night. <clears throat> the river's kind of low. <laughs> and it's another mess. And yeah, that's the area where the commercial zone disrupts the water town sound. Yeah, more debris to pull out. Still looks pretty good. A vernacular trail with a bit of a blowdown disruption. This is a nice little spot. Kind of an open grove. Complete with trash. <laughs> Ooh, clever. A Mountain Dew holder made from a convenient tree. Uh oh, mud fight. Mm-hmm. 